Aha! The topic for this video is how to trigger energy orgasms. You want more orgasms in your life, right? Sexual energy is beautiful. And very often the image or the idea that we have about sexual energy and how we use it is kind of contracted within the aspects of using your genitals and kissing and uh, just seeing sex within the limits of what is traditionally thought about sex. But when we start tapping into energy sex, energy oral orgasms and all that, we tap into something which is very different. We start looking at the totality of our body as a sexual organ. The totality of your body, not, not just your genitals, not just the, the lips, the, the, you know, the breasts. It's the totality of the body and the totality of the energy body. So once you start activating the energy body right through the, for instance, the vital force techniques that I show you with breathing and shaking. And once your energy body is really active, it's way easier for sexual energy to flow through your system. And once sexual energy is flowing through your system, it starts hitting points of resistance, for instance, in the chakras or places of tension. And in those points of resistance, there's going to be friction. There is going to be opening of energy. It's like the water starting to stream. And these are, can be micro orgasmic experiences or they can be massive orgasmic experiences on an energetic level. So you start moving away a little bit from the idea that it has to be like a peak experience, you know, something that goes like boop and then collapses and then you fall asleep. No, we are talking about orgasmic experiences, which are like waves coming and you start riding the wave and then you breathe through it. And uh, it's, you know, it's powerful. Once you start tapping into that level of bliss, you know, the idea of going back to just friction sex, which can be great, of course, but going back to that and just only that feels a little bit flat and, and, and shallow. So how do you, you know, how do you make sure that your body becomes a, a full, act, fully activated sexual organ? Well, it is a little bit like training your muscles, your muscles, right? Um, through practices, through moving energies, you do that every day, maybe for 15 minutes, maybe an hour, whatever you can afford. But then your, your, your body starts expanding into that space. If you stop doing those techniques, maybe for a week, a month, then you go back to normal. You go back to a state of more contraction. So it is training. You train those skills and you train them every day through regular practices. This is one thing. Another thing which is, uh, which is important is when you as a couple, you can really connect with that intention in mind, you start engaging into conscious practices together in the love making. And so by doing that, you are adding a little bit of structure to your sex life instead of just going passion, roll on top of each other, have wonderful love making session, you start adding conscious practices. And those conscious practices can be something like breathing. For instance, if you are having intercourse, right? The man is penetrating the woman and you are moving. You are um, creating friction with a, a rhythm of five, five times in a row, for instance, push, penetrate, release, penetrate, release, penetrate, release. And you do that five times, for instance. So it's, you, you push five times, then you release, and then you pause. And in the moment where you pause, you look at each other straight in the eyes and you breathe together. You go like, and you do that five times, and then you repeat the movement of, uh, of uh, friction five times. And you keep on doing that, maybe for five minutes, maybe half an hour. What this is going to do is that it's going to open space in your body through the breathing practices. It's going to bring the flow of sexual energy all over your body. In the beginning, you will notice that it can feel a little, a little bit uncomfortable. It can feel like there is so much space opening up that it's almost too much energy that you can take because the sexual energy is just like flowing through your body and it's a new intense um, experience that can uh, really radically shift the way you perceive uh, your body and your energy body. 
So you see what I'm talking about right now is no longer the idea of just having a peak orgasm. Even a, a peak experience, uh, sexual peak experience um, that happens on an energy level, you know, for men, peak uh, energy orgasm without ejaculation is still a peak experience. And very often you still feel a little bit depleted after. So instead of thinking about peak experiences, think about waves and flow and riding orgasmic waves. This is, a, you know, I'm not going to summarize, of course, all that within five minutes, within a five minutes video, video, but it's to give you some hints to make you realize that there is a world out there. The way we perceive sex usually it's very narrow. It's like, you know, this this pathway. But there is really a vast, vast range of possibilities there to explore. Um, remember, if you want to hear more about all this stuff, all my videos, content, 15 years of wisdom and creations on my website, vitalcoaching.com, there is a specific channel called Tantric Sex. Look for it on the home page and um, tons of videos there, uh, ebooks, instructions, articles. I'll see you soon. Have fun.